all my friends. I hope you're having an outstanding, fabulous day. I was working in Elkton on my little format listing and I took, yes I did, I took Trixie with me to work today. And then after I finished working, it is hot as Hades today. Uh, we had some rain last night and yesterday and today it is baking. Uh, so I have my Moon Cool TK1 trike Trixie and I've come to Glasgow Park in Delaware. Now, I'm not sure how many miles of trails there are, maybe only four or five or six or seven or so, but it goes, I saw some trails are going off into the woods when I did Google Earth. So this is just uh, gonna be mental health day break, so to speak. And uh, we're going to use our neck mount, no 360, no DJI mic. And we're going to ride around and uh, of course we have our Outdoor Master helmet and our Outdoor Master glasses. So thank you all for being my friends. Thank you all for being my subscribers. And if you're not, boom, please smash that subscribe. Click on the like, click on the bell, tell your friends, share my channel. I have 110,000 plus video views and I'm still stuck around 850 subscribers. So I know my thumbnails suck. My friends say if you did better thumbnails, but I don't know how to do Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop Elements 2019, which is just a rookie program because that's all I can handle. So anyway, thank you. Let's go. All right, we are off. Uh, I've seen, I've, I've only ridden past this place before. I've never been here before. We're gonna go down this way first. Uh, but they have a dog park that is super popular. We're gonna go buy it. And that's when I've seen it packed. And I've seen the skateboard uh, packed. We're gonna ride over there too. But we're gonna just check out the other parking lot first and see what we got going on. Now that hill there that they're walking up backwards, that's where everybody comes in the winter time to, uh, uh, sled, to sled ride and, you know, inner tube toboggan or whatever. This is probably the most popular hill. I mean, when they have snow, this place is packed. This place is packed. All right, that trail took us out to the back side of the hill. It all just circles around. Now, is the Moon Cool TK1 gonna take this, take it up this hill? Are we gonna make it up this hill? It's pretty steep. Uh, I think it's gonna make it. We're gonna pedal. Holy cow, it's steep. Is it gonna make it? Oh yeah nine miles an hour now look where we are the top of this hill the top of the hill for all the uh, sledders what goes up must go down now are we gonna go down this like crazy people now we're gonna just We're gonna tap our brakes. Why? Not much uh, exit room to do anything other than head for the road. And cars coming in. Actually, maybe we'll go this way and try to get to the uh, Pond. If we can. One way or another we will.
see that up there? That's a bat box. We used to make them, we made them in uh, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts. It is to attract bats, which are good for eating insects and mosquitoes. I'm not sure how deep it is. All right, just made some new friends, Paul, wife, and granddaughter fishing. There are fish here. He's caught largemouth bass and other kind of fish in here. And he was telling me that he needs two new knees and he was thinking about getting a bike too. So we talked about bikes and trikes and uh, he said he was gonna subscribe, which is very nice. And, um, we were talking about the meaning of life, which is get out and live life. And so they're just enjoying the day with their granddaughter. Uh, they haven't done too much success today with catching stuff, but uh, they're having fun. And in the shade, it was really nice and comfortable. And so it's just another perfect example of what I tell you all. Get out and do something. Who cares if you don't catch any fish? Who cares if you, whatever, who cares? Just get out and do something. Heck, you could have just been riding around like me and, and met Paul and his family there and spent 20 minutes, 30 minutes talking about stuff. And it was great. Where are we going? This is the skateboard park, but I've also seen uh, oh, we should try to trike it. No, just kidding. Just kidding. Do we look like... Holy cow. Uh, yeah, I'd never get out of there. I'm not even going near the edge. I'm already dizzy looking at it. Yeah. We got to, though, don't we? Let's turn off the bike. Turn off the bike. Best way to get off it. Emergency brake it. Holy crap. Boy, that would be a deep swimming pool. Look at that thing. Uh, that's probably like 14 feet. Holy crap, how would you get out of there? You'd have to call for a freaking tow. I'd have to call for a tow. I could never make it out of there. I'm actually surprised that there is no shallow spot to jump out. Maybe right there, but not for me. Whew. Actually, that one has tile around it over there. I wonder if that used to be a swimming pool. I can get out of that one. Ha <laughs> ha. I ain't getting out of this one. Frick, no. I'd be calling 911. I'd be a story in the news, I can tell you that. Look at that. You are not climbing out of that frickin' bowl. That's deeper than the other one. <sighs> Nuts. N-U-T-S. <sighs> Honestly, It'd be, it has been decades since I do that. Decades. That's crazy. Uh, Paul was telling me that they also have playgrounds. They have all different kinds of playgrounds. Hi. For autistic children, specifically designed for them, which is, I mean, that's nice. Uh, that is really nice. And, um, I wonder if that's it right there. It's pretty cool. Yes, it's right there. That's it. Nice. I love that. I love that. Dog park. There's nobody here. Why is hot out? Uh, my puppy dogs do not like the heat. Jupiter is a little bit more tolerant. 
than Oscar. Oscar the Retriever Mix hates the heat. All right, look, pickleball, pickleball quartz. And you see a lot of young people, pickleball. Oh, now this is what it used to be in back in the day. It was a farm. And then this is still part of the original farm buildings. And the old farmhouse. It's pretty cool. There's more trail that goes around. And then these are old farm buildings. Probably unsafe. We're gonna finish there's trails and all through the park we're still gonna hit. I love this little trike. Do you want me to give you a 108 mile review? 108 mile review. Seat, I still think is comfortable for my fat old butt. You hear in the video, quiet. Uh, Mickey, my bells aren't too bad today because it's been mostly paved riding. And um, front shock. Yes, still absorbs the bumps. Um, I don't have anything negative to say. If I had to say one thing, now that I have 108 miles on it, uh, I would like more gears and I would like more speed. Uh, and I sound just like my friend, Gary Webster of Gary's E-Bike Adventures. And I know that you all know him because he is like a he is a trike guru. He has become the trike expert, the trike guru. Not only because he's highly intelligent and uh, can just figure out stuff per se, but his career, he's a hands-on mechanical genius. He does body work, electrical work, painting, he he is uh, expert in the in the in the in the trade so to speak uh the automotive industry and that just carries right over with his ability to fix bikes and trikes that have quirky engineering issues uh he knows so much uh and anyway that all leads me back to yes gary here's the one trail that i saw on a map see where it goes uh, he um, he's the one that wants more speed which when I first got this 15 and 24 down the hill was a lot fast but now look how it eats up this you see how I swerve right around that bump stability oh yeah this is private property this is how they get to the park um, yeah, he has a need for speed. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure they don't want me over there. This is how the employees come over here to the park, probably for um, uh, breaks and lunch. Probably not during the heat of the day though, for most of them. Yeah, so I still love the Mooncool TK1. Uh, could I be doing all this with my other two bikes? Yes, 100% uh, with either one of them. Uh, but if you said to me, which one are you gonna get dirty looks on? Betty. Uh, followed by Roxy, only because Roxy's so big too. Uh, and look, people look at me, they see ET, they see this fat old man on a trike, they're not gonna give me a hard time. Hi there. Hi.
We're gonna go talk to these children and this gentleman. Little girls with their pop-pop, they didn't know who E.T. was. But the little girl said she has a bike just like mine, so she's got a little tricycle. And I was just gonna ask, I just asked her if she had an E.T. Now, if you're exercising in the sun, you better be young and in good health because uh, it's in the 90s. Uh, and around here where we live, the humidity is always strong. Always strong. Nearly always, nearly always strong humidity. Which, which makes it worse. Hi. Uh, when I was in the Marine Corps in, um, I was stationed at one time for a short period in um, <sighs> Marine Corps Air Station Yuma. Uh, MCAS Yuma and hi and uh, this is one of the trails we're gonna see if we can make it and it was uh, 100 plus degrees but there was not a lick of humidity now of course I was much younger uh, and when I got off work uh, I would run uh, I would run sometimes from the barracks to the magazine, which was like two miles, and then back. In that temperature, it was easy peasy. I don't know where we're gonna go. I don't know where we're gonna end up. This reminds me of Lum's Pond. We have gone four miles today. Oh, I saw this on a map. There's a power station right over there through the woods. I don't know if you can see it. All right, we're taking a different path because I just met a new friend, Ed, a uh, military man. He's in the Navy. And uh, he came from the other way I was going to go, and he told me that there was a bunch of trees down that uh, you know he had to go through the woods to get through and I was like mm, yeah we're gonna take this path because our whole job our whole job our whole goal was just to get out and have fun not to make work for ourselves so uh, Ed told me that he has been riding his electric bike for a year and a half uh, and he loves it and uh, I did give him a hard time because he doesn't have uh, a lot of miles on it but uh he's out ugh, over this log he's out living life oh and he's lucky he's retired oh i can see him up in the woods ahead of us uh this trail meets right up with that yep down the hill now we have only gone about uh let's see there's the trail we've only gone about five miles but in so many ways just this five mile jaunt is up the hill and across the loggy. Uh, this one might be harder to traverse. Um, just the five miles has a different benefit, so to speak, than doing our 30 mile range test. Why? Bumpy, 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 which it's fine on my big old butt, and it's fine with the, let me turn the power assist level down actually, which, and fine with um, uh, the front suspension. I don't want to pop a tire, although we could, we don't have that far to walk, because we've only gone, like I said, five miles or so, but because we've met Pete and his family, and we met that other 
uh, gentleman grandfather with his two little girls uh, and um, and Ed just meeting people I should turn around this is starting to turn into work Yes, the TK1 is making it, isn't it? Of course it's making it. Ooh, had some wheel spin. Nice, that was cool. Um, just meeting people and talking to different people is fun. Let's look at our Relive app. This reminds me more of uh, Lums Pond with all the roots. With all the roots. Uh, with all the roots. Now this is 100% where the uh, fat tire, moon, moon cool TK1 fat tire would excel. I will say this too, though. Uh, the fact that, um, oh, that's yellow jackets. Do not want to hit that. Ugh. Gotta pay attention when you see certain things underneath certain branches, uh, you can tell if it's yellow jackets. And if you ride over them yellow jackets, they will sting the poop out of you. And the last time I get hit with a yellow jacket in the face, just one sting and my face welted up like there was no tomorrow. Whoa. Oh, it drops off. Well, we ain't gonna make that. Uh, I was kind of worried about the rotted wood. Uh, I'm glad there ain't no bees in there. Mosquitoes. I never even gave it a thought about the bees. Yeah, the last time uh, I got stung by a yellow jacket, that, that darn thing welted up my face. The other thing I was saying is that um, with uh, I have done now a bunch of mileage through through bumpy terrain like this, and so the fact that I have not developed any. Uh, Baby. The fact that I have not developed any uh, the fact that I have not de developed any um uh, this is where I'm gonna pop a tire off the thing. Uh, the fact that I have not developed any uh, looseness, any um, I thought it was going to hit my mirror, any looseness or uh, hold on, 
a second. The fact that I have, whoa, she can't make it up that hill. She can't make it up that lip on this hill. Uh, the wood's too slippery. Um, oh, she could have made it over this, but I wasn't sure if there was going to be a drop off. The fact that uh, old man coming through, old man coming through. Oh, you're all good, man. <laughs> uh, the fact that uh, she has not developed any um, rattles and stuff is a good thing. Yeah, she did not like that wet, slippery wood on that hill, on that start. I thought there was another bridge. It's, a, it's like a little meeting, meeting area. Yeah, I think we've done like six miles now. Last chunk of, big chunk of uh, park trail. And then we will have done pretty much all of it. Yeah, uh, I've turned into a, um, Thank you. Uh, I just got two thumbs up from one of the employees in a side-by-side. -side. Uh, yeah, so um, it's kind of funny. He, he flying and I could see him staring at me flying. I thought he was gonna come up and give me grief, uh, not, not kudos, so. One of them's a buck. A little buck. See his antlers. Oh, daddy buck, mama doe, and little fawn with the. Uh... Oh, there's another one. Another fawn. They typically have two. See him? I don't know if I'm going to get a picture or not. a young friend who wanted to ride the trike. Hi, Can I go up this little ramp right there? Yes, but be careful. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I was reluctant letting this, go ahead, I'm just talking. Uh, Cause he doesn't have a helmet and his friend doesn't have a helmet. And I said, where's your helmets? I asked these guys how they get out of those bowls and he told me they don't get stuck in the bowls. And if they did lose their momentum, they would just go to one end and start to the other and they would get out. So basically he was saying, only fat old men like you, Bruce, would get stuck in the bowls, not us young people. But he said it in a nice way. Since my channel is whole, since, I don't know if it'll make it. So, uh, now, don't go up the big one. I don't want him to get hurt. Um, since my channel is wholesome, uh, I told them that they could subscribe if they wanted to. What's your name? Tommy and Ethan. Tommy and Ethan. Tommy likes it. Now Ethan's going to ride it. Now, before you get off, turn. So. The parking brake? Oh, nope. Turn it off. Yeah. Because if you touch them pedals while you're getting on or off. Because I, I was holding the brake anyway. Yeah, it'll take off on you. 
So normally when you get on and off, hold the brake pedals. Yeah. Hold the brake levers. And you, you remember what I told him. It's bad. It's, I wanted to see a high speed test, but I, I didn't want to like... Crash? No, I'm not afraid of crashing at all. Yeah, but I don't want you to crash. Yeah, and I'm not going to crash. You're, you're, uh, not, especially that's not your mind. Some adult that... Uh, Look, he ain't worried. That adult, some adult that loves you will beat me to death. Yeah. Look at Ethan. He's like, uh, thinking, look at him. I wanted to go. Don't go fast around the turns. Yes, you can tell that I was an overprotective parent. Especially when these aren't my kids. I really wanted to um, do a high speed test, but there's not a lot of flat ground over here. Now. He loves that thing. Yeah, he does. Freaking dump over and get hurt. You can see what we do on our bikes. I don't want to know. It'll make me... It'll probably worry me even though I don't even know you guys. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I used to do stupid stuff when I was young. You like it, Ethan? Yeah. I don't know if they're going to give it back to me. Yeah. Daredevil now. Now he's getting comfortable. I see. I, I just don't want to like. Oh, he's found the horn, too. Look at his face. All right, my young friends wanted to say goodbye to you all. Bye. Bye. Make sure you subscribe. Press that red subscribe button, yeah. like button. Smash that subscribe. Smash it and smash it. Click on the like. Click on the bell. Yeah. Say it. Do it again. Put that notifications on. So you post know notifications on. Yup. Every post. Smash that like button. Smash, smash that subscribe, subscribe button. button. Yeah, you got it. There you go. These are my new buddies. Thank you, young man. All right, Ethan's going to do a trick on his bike. Okay, I can't do that. I can't. Look at that. I can get up there, but I can't get down. Oh, now he's going to the bowl. Thing. Show me how you get in and out of the bowl. Can I try Try what? Not up here. I don't want you to get near that bowl. I seriously, I can't. Uh, I I don't want you to get hurt. Look at him. Holy cow! Well, Mr. Chipman, can you do that? I bet you can't do that. I can't do that. Great job. Eight hundred and maybe fifty some. Well, well now you'll have eight hundred and fifty two. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. That's great. Um all right. You see those young people? See those young guys? Those young kids? That that young man in and out of that uh bowl like it was nothing. Not a zippo. Shoot the chit? No way. That young man runs circles around you. 114 miles on our Moon Cool TK1. We did about nine miles today. And uh, I told you, many, many benefits more so than long distance. Why? We met Ed, we met Pete, we met those two young gentlemen. We met a bunch of people to talk to and we learned stuff how to get out of the bowl 
get out and live life. We learned about the fish. We learned stuff. We got out and we were out for, I don't know, uh, maybe a couple hours, not very far, but it was fun. It was health food, super health food for the body, mind, soul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for being my friends. Thank you for being my subscribers. And if you're not, please, oh, please, oh, please, boom, smash that subscribe. Click on the like, click on the bell, share my video, tell your friends. I love you all. See ya!